is this is this Miss uh, Staunch? South. South. I knew whichever way I went, I'd be wrong. But uh, okay, uh, I don't know how much you know about the extradition proceeding. Um, do you know anything about extradition? Well, you're going to learn. Um, this morning, you have a decision to make. You can either waive extradition, and the uh, state of Colorado has uh, 20 days to come get you, which, to be quite honest about it, under the facts of this particular situation, I have a feeling it'd be much shorter than that. But um, <clears throat> anyway, you have 20, they'll have 20 days to come get you, or you can fight extradition. Fighting extradition means that and this is a guesstimate on my part, that it would be about maybe 90 days from now, the Attorney General from the state of South Carolina would hold a uh, extradition hearing where he has to prove two things, that you are Miss uh, Staunch? Stouch. Stouch. Miss Stouch, and that you are wanted for a felony in the state of Colorado. It's not a very high bar for them to jump over, but that is the standard in a in a uh, extradition hearing. Um, so my question to you is: Do you want to waive extradition, or do you want to uh, fight extradition? Um. So when you said something about fighting it, I have to do what now? Well, you don't have to do anything. You just uh, have to sit sit until the uh, um, hearing comes up. But. Uh, um, Otherwise, the state of South, uh, state of uh, Colorado has, if you waive extradition, they have 20 days to come get you. I would be surprised if they weren't already in the air, but that's just me. I have no factual basis for that, but I, I'm just. Uh, uh, they were here yesterday. That's who actually came. Oh, okay. So, yeah, what you I, want to do, young lady? You want to uh, waive extradition, or you want to fight? So, there's a hearing here. What does that mean? They decide to determine what. If the hearing is here, what does that decide? It just decides whether, whether you go back to Colorado or not. Well, I've still never been given the opportunity, like, since the beginning, to even call my attorney to even talk to him about anything. Mm -hmm. Well, where is your attorney? Well, I need to call my friend Laura, who has an attorney, but I was told yesterday that someone was going to do that, but they never did. Okay. Last since yesterday that I volunteered. Well, I it doesn't matter either way to me because I'm just asking the question. I, I don't care what the answers are. If if you waive extradition, I will sign the extradition order and they'll bring it back there for you to consent to. It. If you fight extradition, then they'll just have an extradition hearing sometime in the future. And uh, um, the problem with with fighting extradition is that. <clears throat> the time you spend sitting waiting for the extradition hearing is uh, always considered to be your time not Colorado or whatever the requesting state's time is so you don't get any credit it's like I won't say wasting your time but and, and there are very few this isn't legal advice but I'll tell you there's very few defenses to extradition um, but it's your choice so you're saying it's not like a guarantee, it's just a hearing? It's just a hearing where they have to prove you are who you are and that you're wanted for a felony. Those are the two things they have to prove in an extradition hearing. That's all. It, so, I mean, if you if you are who you are and you're wanted for a felony in, in, in Colorado, it won't do much good fighting an extradition hearing. Oh, you're saying they have to prove that. I see what you're saying. I understand. Yes, sir. So you're, okay, what you want to do, young lady? Um, so Colorado. Okay, well, I'll sign the extradition order, and uh, they'll bring it back for you to consent to. Now, of course, it wouldn't have mattered if you waived or not waived. When somebody's an extra, if somebody is a fugitive from one state, I don't let them be a fugitive from two states. So uh, uh, you, you, it's not like... If you answered either way, it would make any difference as far as, as the hearing today goes, because I'm not going to set bond. Of course, I, with the charges that are involved, I couldn't set bond anyway, I don't think. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't run for you guys. I don't have any trouble with you guys. 
that even knowing so the date on that paper tag is wrong. Well, let, let, me, um, let me tell you something else, and I didn't go into all this. I didn't go into all this, uh, uh, but uh, once now that we've decided the, uh, what we're going to do in this particular hearing, I, because of the charges you're charged with as far as today's concerned, I don't believe I'd say too much more, okay? All right, they'll bring the order back to you to um, sign in a moment. All right, consent to, okay? Okay. All right.